Hello and welcome to the EQ software tutorial for the EQ network configuration tool or short NCT. This small but very effective piece of software lets you scan your complete network, set up your EQ devices, change IP addresses and configure them in their submenus. What we see here now is our network configuration tool and the current IP address of this computer. As the EQ devices will come to you with a certain IP address range, we have to change the IP address of this computer in order to make them visible. Therefore we open up the local area connection status and see that there is something wrong with the connection. So what we have to do now is to change the IP address of this computer by opening up the Internet Protocol TCP IP and change it from obtaining an IP address automatically to use the following IP address. As all EQ devices will come to you with a certain IP address, we have to change our computer to this address range in order to make it visible for the NCT. So what we do now is change the IP address of this computer to 192, 168, 123 and 100. As the 100 is just an example you can choose any value between 2 and 254. The subnet mask will be given to you automatically as soon as you hit the field so you will get 3 times the 255 followed by a 0. So now we confirm these settings and close the local area connection properties. It will take a few seconds and what we can see now is that the DMX butler which we have attached already can be found inside the network. We can also see the IP address of the butler which we already attached which is the 192, 168, 123 and 1. This is exactly the address that every EQ device will have out of the box. What you can also see is the version of the software, the status of the device if there is a QList running or not and the MAC address. A MAC address is a combination of characters and numbers and it also allows you to identify a certain device inside the network. We do not need the MAC address now so we can leave it as it is. We can also see the traffic inside the device if there is maybe a video running or something else. And we have a small info window on the right side where we can see the IP address, the MAC address, the software version of the device and the type directly. So what we would like to do now is to go to the configure menu. Just hit the configure menu or double click the DMX button. We can give the unit a name. So just fill in a name. In this case we will might call it tutorial test and confirm. Now we are at the most important point. Here you can change the IP address. Whenever you would like to use more than one Ethernet device inside a network you have to make sure that all devices have a different IP address in order to work properly. So what you could do is unprotect the whole IP address range in order to change all four columns of numbers or you protect it and just change the last value. You can also change the subnet mask but this doesn't make sense actually. And you can change the gateway. But we recommend to let it be in this range so the devices will find each other properly. The IR remote field is quite important because here you can change your IR remote options Either it can be a Philips TV, a Moodlight IR or an Insta infrared remote control. It depends whatever you want to choose to control your butler by infrared. The master slave group ID gives you the possibility to run more than one group inside your network. So whenever you have to make groups of different devices of the E-series, you can give them a master slave group ID and they will know each other inside their groups. This will make sure that only the EQ devices inside one group will communicate to the others inside their group. The run mode lets you enable the advanced replay features of the butler. You can choose the standard run mode, so every queue list will run until you choose another queue list. You can let it run in shuffle mode, you can choose to let the next queue list follow after n seconds 
where n is the parameter of the run mode, which is the next point inside the menu, or you can choose the next queue list after n seconds on n feature, which means that the next queue list will be following after the time value which you put inside your queues. The next queue list after n loops means that the following queue list will be coming after a certain amount of loops. Or you can say it should always be coming back to queue list number one. Together with the run mode parameter, which in this case is zero and stands for the n inside the run mode, which is standard right now, the NCT configuration tool offers you a wide variety of different replay options. You can also choose to repeat the show on end. In this case it's disabled, but you can also enable it. It depends on you. The next point is very important as the timecode master feature is very important if you have large amounts of Butler units, for example for large matrix LED applications. If you want to use butlers in standalone mode, you have to tell one of the units that it is the master. This master will synchronize the whole replay of all butlers, so this is quite important. You can also enable the don't cycle to last queue list feature or the on power up go to last queue list feature. If the unlinked slave fade to black feature is enabled, all unlinked butlers will go to black as soon as they go to standalone mode. You can also see the firmware version, the build date and the infrared version. Thank you very much for watching the tutorial. Copyright by www.eq.tv